hey everyone so welcome back to another video so today i wanted to go ahead and show you one of the new cool features of windows 11 where you can actually set up um some type of raid array if you have extra hard drives that you want to add to your system and then use them as a raid so without further ado let's get started um what we'd like to do first um windows button and x will pull up this management and if you look underneath this just little shortcuts whatever is underlined actually if you press that key it will take you there so for purposes uh, lowercase k will take me to this management those are little key shortcuts if you want to play with them um, for the time being if you look, go back Windows X again you'll see that there's a lot of little shortcuts you can learn so if you're trying to get into your system while that loads all you have to do is hit the corresponding um, key and it will take you there so like terminal terminal in the admin mode computer management would be a g network connections is a w so these are all just little shortcuts that you can actually try to learn or remember but if you don't remember them windows k is your best friend because you will see all the little shortcuts that will take you there so without further ado my disk management is loading and I just want to show you what it looks like. So here it goes, right? Basically, I have a few disks that are unallocated here that I want to add to a RAID array. I'm using this SIS, it's an S, a disk 6. It's an SSD for about two terabytes of space. That's what my Windows system is running on. And then I also have another SSD here that I'll be using for storage later. But then I also have some older um, disks that are still a part of the system. And I wanted to just go ahead and, and use them because I still have them. These are the older um, hard drives. So the HDDs, the older models um, before SSD came out, right? So one of the cool features now with Windows 11 it has a a way where you can actually just build um ss you can build an array of raid using older drives that you have so easy way hit the windows button and what you're going to start looking for is called manage storage spaces all right so you're going to go ahead and hit that and then if you don't have it or have any that is is um Created what you're going to do is create a new pool and storage space and click apply and This will pull up everything that is available or connected to your computer So as you can see like I was telling you all of these drives are connected. So now if you have Your disk management open always verify before you you wipe something out what you're Working with um it's always super important so if you look at my disk zero it will show you this zero is right there this one and it goes all the way down to all of the disks but the one disk that it doesn't show right which is great is this six if you look over here it does not display this six meaning that that this is my windows operating system and you don't want to go ahead and wipe that so that is a good feature that it will show only the disks that are unformatted right that's what it will show so if they look like this you can use them so for this demonstration purposes i only want to use the four drives that say is 232 gigs that's why i installed them so i'm going to uncheck this uncheck this on that 235 i'm going to uncheck that so i'm going to create an array with using these four as is four hard drives say they're configured right so go ahead and create pool windows is going to go ahead and create it i want to just name this whatever you want so i will just call this hhd actually hdd raid actually let's go this volume and since I already have C and it's a HDD you can select any drive letter you want everything is open that is available so C drive obviously won't show here because you are using your C drive 
but I will just go ahead and add this now as my D drive. NTFS is what I want to use, so I have that selected. And then here's where you'll be selecting the different types of RAID, right? So for example, you can do the simple, the two-way, the three-way, and parity. Right, and this is where you'll have to go deeper into definition. But normally, priority is about like RAID 5, and then you have two and three RAIDs, like RAID 1 and RAID 0, for example, that you can use. So, if you don't really understand RAID, this is the resiliency type that's what it's asking you for what type of RAID you want to set up. I'm going to go ahead and click priority, and as you can see, this is going to be my maximum that I can set right there. Total capacity is 928, and the maximum that I can get out of this would be that right there, okay? So if you look at it, it will tell you if I try to change it, it's going to say it's not available because it's, it's not valid, okay? So make sure that's set to gigabytes. Then you want to scroll all the way down and create storage space. So once I'm hitting the storage space, I want you to check out on the left side what it looks like, right? Once these are being created, you will see everything happening in real time. So as you can see, it's formatting the drives. There you go. All of these drives now over here got formatted. There you go. You can see that the RAID volume was completed successfully, right? And if I go back to my unformatted drives that will only show everything that I did not use. Now, what I want to do is I want to go all the way back. I'm going to open up Windows and we want to take a look at my, my drive on this PC and you will see that my HHD RAID Volume D was not created. And when you talk about RAID, so basically if you don't understand RAID, what you're doing is you're taking a multiple um disk and you're combining them to make essentially one disk and you're saving the information on one platform logically but it's actually being written physically to these hard drives so in the in the event of a failure or let's say something happened to that one drive if you're using like a raid 5 and beyond and you just have to check the different raid but like for raid 5 for example you can swap out one of the hard drives that went bad, put a new one in, and that RAID array, the array meaning that whole group of disks will un understand that there is a new hard drive and let's share the information with it. That's basically how it works, like a family of disks combined together so that you can actually um, save information. So this is how it works. Um, just a short introduction to it. I have my 607 down a terabyte of space um, gigabyte of space that i can save and then all of these right here that i was using earlier as you can see right there that now change into disk 8 instead of the ones that you saw before they all got combined and they made a disk 8 out of it so that's basically how it how it works inside of disk management you will not see the old disks no more that were showing up because it combined all of the disks and made them into a new logical volume. All right, guys. So I hope you like this um, video. Like and subscribe to it. Um, and just give me a thumbs up if you appreciate this video. Until next time, I really appreciate it. And um, see you later.